I'm Joanna and I'm an Egyptian alchemist. That means that I read auras, past lives and even energy fields of organisations and places. So um, of course people do think I'm bongos, but I use those skills to help people um, overcome hurdles in life and even business situations sometimes too. So most people will be surprised to learn that London's actually full of sacred sites. And we're standing in the middle of one right now runs all the way from Weybridge in Surrey to Chigwell Row in Essex and it picks up lots of exciting sites like the Millennium uh, Wheel and Jubilee Gardens and behind us here St Paul's and the other way we can see the Oxo Tower goes through all the way down to Essex so the associated sites are all linked to royalty that's why it's called Coronation Line the word coronation gets its uh, name from the corona, the aura around the sun, and royalty is always associated in history with the sun. Hence, this coronation line is aligned with the summer solstice sunrise. Joe? Okay, well, this is a really simple exercise anybody can do at home. It's called an abundance check. And you can do it any time, but a new moon is the best time, and it's new moon today, so that's why we picked it for today's show. So with the abundance check, what you do is you can get out your checkbook if you still have one, if you're old enough and archaic enough to still have one, then you can get that out. I, I, I do have one, thanks. <laughs> we talked about handbags earlier. We didn't yeah. have a man bag, I'm so disappointed. But anyway, if you've got one, that's great. Um, if not, you can run up something like this, and we've got some online if you want to download one. So walking barefoot on grass benefits us in three ways. It's grounding, it's stress relieving, and it benefits us from head to toe. Why? because as soon as we touch the grass with our feet, we have a grounding effect. Yes, yeah, I mean, it's not uncommon for people to come because they feel lack of direction, they want a bit more of a spiritual aspect to their life. Mm -hmm. but so also, you can awaken their spirituality? You can, yes, okay. you can. If and they're expanded. ready for that, you can. But you can also help them with general depression or stress or other factors in their life, illness, and generally to feel more confident about their life and have better balance. Mm -hmm. Right, so Brian here has asked me to um, give him a past life reading, so I'm going to try and talk through how it works. So the first thing I'm doing, as I said before, is I'm tuning in to Brian's energy and I'm connecting with the part of him that I believe is also in my heart as well. So it's like in the heart where I believe all this is stored. So some people say it's like I send a probe from my heart to his. It sounds painful, but I promise it's, it's nothing, nothing too intrusive. And it's only if you've invited me to do it. So when I do that, the first thing I feel is a strange sensation around my tailbone, just a little bit higher than tailbone, in fact, and some tightness and, and um, discomfort around the shoulders. 